All right, so uh, the good news is it is possible to calculate the area of any regular po polygon, no matter how many sides it has, um, all with the same formula. And all you need to know is that it is a regular polygon, um, how many sides it has, and what the side lengths are, uh, which is pretty easy because a regular polygon has congruent sides. All the sides have the same length. Uh, that's what it means to be a regular polygon. So, uh, just to review, a polygon is a closed two-dimensional shape with straight sides, sides that are straight lines. Uh, here's a straight line, here's a straight line. Um, this is not yet a polygon because it's not closed. This is open. It doesn't bound a, a, an inside space. And, now that it's closed, it's got straight sides, it's two-dimensional, that's a polygon. It is not, however, a regular polygon. A, a regular polygon has congruent side lengths. So here, uh, here's a regular pentagon. That's a polygon with five sides. And all the side lengths are four units, so four, 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 four. four. Um, also, because it's a regular pentagon, all the interior angles are congruent. So these, all these angles have the same measurement. All right. Just on the basis of that, knowing that it's a polygon, it's a regular polygon, it has five sides, and the side lengths are four, uh, we can figure out what the area of this thing, of this thing is. It involves, however, um, a little bit of trickery at first, just to explain where the formula comes from. Um, and, and so, yeah, so here's what you can do. If you inscribe a circle within the regular polygon, which you can do for every regular polygon, um, okay, that's pretty close, right? So that circle is inscribed, meaning, all right, it's not perfect, but uh, the the basic idea is um, all the sides of the polygon are tangent to the circle. So they, they touch the circle at just one point. So here's a point of tangency, here's a point of tangency, here's a point of tangency, etc. So they kind of skim by the circle at just one point. So uh, if that's the case, if the circle is touching all the sides of the polygon at just one point, meaning all the sides of the polygon are tangent to the circle, then the circle is inscribed within that polygon. Now, um, so if we've got a circle that's inscribed within the polygon, um, that helps us see that we are able to do this. So I'm just going to eyeball the center of this circle. Let's call that the center. Uh, wh what that's going to do is allow us to see that we can actually split this pentagon into congruent triangles. Okay, um, and as you might expect, we're able to cut it into five congruent triangles. It's a pentagon, and we can split it in t with, with five sides, so we can split it into five triangles. Um, so, and that, that's awesome because it, all we have to do is figure out the area of one of these triangles. Um, and then multiply it by the number of triangles that there are, which in this case is five, um, and then we're done, right? So it's just the area of one of these triangles times the number of sides. That's it. So what is the area of a triangle? Area of a triangle is one half times the base which is the side that you choose, uh, times its corresponding height. So what we would do is, uh, let's look at this triangle right here. The base we'd want to pick is just the side length that we know already. So this, this side, let's call that the base. So we, all, we know already that the base for this triangle is 4. Uh, the base will be um, whatever the side length is of of the polygon that you're working with, right? 
Um, so that's why I'm putting an S there to show that's the side length. Um, the base is the side length. In this case, it's four, uh, but it'll be whatever it is when you're doing this. Okay, so then the height would be the um, the line segment that is the um, perpendicular bisector of the base. It's perpendicular to the base, and it um, divides the base into two equal halves. It's going to be the perpendicular bisector of the base that um, has an endpoint at the center of the circle, something like that. All right, that's the height. All right, it also happens to be the radius of the inscribed circle. So from the center to uh, that point of tangency. Right. So that's a that's a special uh, line segment called the apothem. The apothem. So the apothem of a regular polygon is uh, is a radius of a circle inscribed within the polygon which is also the perpendicular bisector of one of the sides of the polygon. All right, so this side is congruent with that side. Um, and this is a 90 degree angle. All right, so let's call that little a for apothem. So all we really need is this. So we're going to have one half uh, base, which is just the side length, which we'll call s times the height, which is the apothem, and then that's one of the triangles, and then we'll multiply that by the number of triangles that there are, right? So we'll get the area of this triangle, multiply it by five, because there's five triangles. Well, why are there five triangles? Because there's five sides to the regular polygon. So we can rewrite this as one half Oh, let me back up. The as the number of sides, which in this case is five, but let's just call it n to show we're talking about the number of sides, which would be five, times one half um, times the base, which is uh, the side length of the regular polygon times the apothem, which is the height of that triangle. Right? So the our formula for the area of a um, regular polygon is just the number of sides times um, uh, the side length of each side times the apothem divided by two, which we can just Let's just rewrite the whole thing as n times s times a over 2. That's equivalent. Uh, well, we know the number of sides for this one. Um, and we know uh, the side length is 4. The critical piece that we need to figure out is the apothem. And that's it. Then we're home free. We just plug that in. Plug the other two bit, bits of information in, and, and we're done. Um, here's the formula for finding the apothem. The apothem is equal to the length of the side, s, divided by uh, 2 times the tangent of 180 degrees, divided by n, the number of sides. Um, you can just know that, um, but I, I want to show you where that comes from. And if this part is a little bit of a stretch, um, it's a little confusing. That's fine. You can just use the formula. I'll show you how to just use it. But uh, I want to show you where it comes from, so it so it makes more sense. Okay. So um, so let's look at that. So the if you draw the apothem um, out to the the side here, you see that this creates a uh, right triangle, right? Okay. Well. Um, we know two things, or we've got we've got two things in relation to this triangle. Uh, we've got uh, this this side length here of the triangle is just half of the base, right? Because this the apothem splits the 
the side into two equal parts. So we can just call that S divided by 2 is that side length. Um, and then we've got the apothem. And then we can figure out what this angle measurement is. Um, and when we do that, we can use some trigonometry. Uh, you may have learned so katoa. It's a little mnemonic device. Well, part of that is saying that uh, this part of it is saying that the tangent. Let me switch colors. It's kind of driving me crazy. The tangent of of an angle is equal to the ratio of the side opposite to it, the side across from it, and the side next to it, the adjacent side. Okay, well we have an angle here and a side opposite to it and the side adjacent to it. Um, so we know that tangent of, let's call it, let's just call it x degrees because we don't know what that is yet, is equal to the opposite, which is s over 2 over 2 uh, over the apothem which is the side adjacent to it. Well what's this angle? If we can figure that out we're, we're home free. Um, this angle, well if you notice that um, a full circle is 360 degrees, right? So the angle measurement of any one of these angles of these triangles uh, would just be 360 degrees divided by the number of triangles. Well, there's as many triangles as sides, right? There's five triangles, five sides. There's five triangles. You split it up into five triangles because there's it's a five-sided polygon. So we could say that uh, this angle measurement, or any one of these, is is equal to 360 divided by the number of sides, divided by n. Okay, well, what we're looking at is this angle here, which is half of one of those. So we would divide this by 2 or multiply it by 1 half. Um, so if we do that, we get 180 divided by n. So this is actually just 180 divided by n. So we get tangent of 180 divided by n is equal to s over 2 over a. So we could just solve this for a. Um, and so we can, here, let me make some room here. Um, we can multiply both sides by a. So I'm just going to move a over there. It's, it, it, it got multiplied and uh, canceled out over here, and now it's over here. A times the tangent of 180 divided by uh, n. And then um, I could divide both sides by tangent of 180 over n so that this uh, is divided away and then um, becomes uh, part of the denominator over here. So we've got this becomes s over 2 times the tangent of 180 over n. And that's our formula. The apothem is, is the side length divided by 2 times the tangent of 180 over n. Tangent um, being taken in degrees. Um, yes. Um, OK, so that's how you get the apothem. Um, and then let us clean up this formula uh, real just a little bit. Um, and and we'll do that in this way. Uh, we've got the number of sides times the side length. Well, what would you do if you wanted the perimeter of this uh, pentagon? You take the side length, uh, so you go 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Well, what you're really doing is just taking 4 times the number of sides, right? That's, that's uh, kind of straightforward, right? So the number of sides times the side length, we could just call the perimeter. That's the perimeter. So all together, uh, we'll just replace that and just call it the perimeter, which you can figure out based on how many sides there are and what the side lengths are. 
Um, so altogether, the area of a of a regular polygon regular polygon is equal to the perimeter times the apothem over two, or the apothem times the perimeter over two. So that's what this is. Uh, so really, uh, y you'll be given the side length s, and you'll be given the number of sides n. And so just from that, you can figure out perimeter. So the key is figuring out what the apothem is. So let's let's use our formula. So uh, we'll we'll do that on a pentagon. So uh, the apothem is equal to s, which is four in this case, over two times the tangent of 180 degrees over the number of sides, which for this pentagon would be five. Okay, so we can just use the calculator to figure that out. Um, so just go four divided by, and let's put all this in parentheses. We can put the the whole denominator in parentheses. Two times the uh, tangent, and I'm going to make sure I'm in degree mode because uh, this is 180 degrees. Tangent of 180 divided by 5 and then close those parentheses, close those and we get an apothem of about 2.75 so that's about 2.75 the um, area is the perimeter times the apothem divided by 2 so what's the perimeter of my uh, pentagon? it's 5 times 4 I've got the side lengths are 4 and there's 5 of them so uh, I'll take my apothem, multiply it by the perimeter, which is 20, it's 5 times 4, divided by 2. So 2.75, uh, 20 divided by 2 is 10, 2.75 times 10 is uh, 27.5, and it's units squared because it's, it's an area. All right, so these are the formulas that you'll need. The area of a regular polygon is the apothem times the perimeter of the polygon divided by 2 and the apothem is the side length divided by 2 times the tangent of 180 degrees over the number of sides. So here's a couple of them to try. A regular hexagon, that's a six-sided figure and a regular octagon, that's an eight-sided figure. Um, side length of 5 meters for the first one, side length of 3 centimeters for the second. Good luck.